Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? I'm down here in sunny Cape Town. I'm at a spot called the Flay, which is an amazing spot right here in Bloberg with really flat water and very easy to get started. As you guys probably know, without water starting, there's no wing foiling. So I'm gonna share five crucial tips that I've learned along my wing foil journey that may help you progress just in like the basic things like how to water start on a wing foil. So just let me grab my board and I'll share with you guys what I have today. I get a lot of questions of how I can go wing foiling on such small boards and it all comes down to the basics of wing foiling. So one of the things I've discovered quite early in my wing foiling days is really maintaining a low point of gravity and one of the ways I like to do this is once you're on your knees is I really enjoy to put one of my legs off the side of the board. Not only does this help keep your center of gravity low by having your butt very close to the board, keeping yourself very low over the board, but it also acts to stabilize yourself with your leg and also help turn your board when needed. A lot of the times when it's choppy, your board can start turning and all you do is you turn your foot anti-clockwise or clockwise and that can really help steer your board. If some of you guys have surfed before, a lot of the time you can hang your legs off your board and completely turn yourself around without even using your hands. So this gives you the opportunity to really grab the wing and get the wing up while keeping a low center of gravity. So make sure you remember those few things. Keep your center of gravity really low on the board, hang one of your legs, whether it's your right leg or your left leg off the board and really use it to stabilize yourself no matter the size of the board, whether it's big or small. And that brings me on to the next thing, which we just talked a little bit about. Keeping your center of gravity on the board while you're trying to balance is so crucial. When you're out on the water and it's so choppy, when you really low down and keeping yourself close to the board, it just helps stabilize yourself on the water. And combined with hanging your leg off, it will probably make the session a lot easier in the beginning. But as you can see, right now, I have my butt almost touching the board. You go as low as possible, keep yourself really close to the board, and then what you can do is grab the wing, which we'll talk about a little bit later. As some of you may have experienced, it can be quite intimidating teaching someone how to foil. I've had times teaching my girlfriend and I'm so worried about her kicking her feet or hitting the foil somehow that I've really tried to figure out what's the easiest and safest way to get on the board. Obviously, there's many ways that you can get onto the board. One of the ways that I prefer is getting onto the board from the back. When you get on from the back of the board, you have the least chance of kicking your feet on the foil as most of the time with big foils, it's even wider than the board underneath. So by getting on from the back, you avoid kicking the foil and you can really just pull yourself up the board until you get up onto your knees. And that I find is one of the safest ways without cutting your shins or cutting my legs. I've got quite a big scar here. I don't know if you can see from Mauritius. And uh, I can tell you, it keeps you off the water for a couple days. So that brings us on to the wing. You know, there's so many different things that you can use your equipment for, for your advantage. And one of them that I really enjoy is really using the wing as a stabilization out on the water. You know, when it gets super choppy, really wavy and really challenging conditions, I like to pull in the wing close by either pulling in the leash or having it really close to you and really stabilizing yourself and leaning onto the leading edge. This helps to balance yourself, it helps to stabilize your board and really keep control, especially when there's a lot of waves breaking on you. So really grab the leading edge, you can hold onto the handles, you can balance yourself and that will avoid you flipping off your board and falling around when the waves get a little bit messy or a little bit big. One other thing that's also useful, especially in onshore conditions, is that if the waves are smashing from behind, do the same thing but pull the wing in front of you and hold on to the leading edge while the waves are hitting you until the sets either calm down or you get pushed back to the, towards the beach. This can avoid you flipping off your board, it can avoid you getting washed around with your foil and maybe save you one or two cuts in your wing as you have full control of it when you're holding it in front of you. So again, when you get on your board, bring in that wing, stabilize yourself, then flip over the wing and start once you feel comfortable to get up and going.
What I see happens to a lot of people in the beginning of the wing foiling is once you grab the wing and hold it on top of your head, you shoot straight downwind as the wind is obviously going to push you and the wing straight in the direction that it's going. One of the things that really help is leaning back, keeping your center of gravity again very low, grabbing on the wing and then using your hips to turn yourself 90 degrees to the wind and that will help you control yourself to stay upwind when you're getting up onto the board for your water start. So one more time, when you grab the wing, lean back, make your center of gravity really low, and then twist your hips and turn yourself into the wind, and even use your mast and your foil to help keep an edge against the water. And this will help you to hold your line and stay upwind when you're trying to water start. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously there's so much to learn and still every single day I'm learning out on the water. If you guys enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend. Make sure you hit the like button because apparently it helps the algorithm. And comment down below if you found any of this information useful at all or share what you've figured out in wing foiling that might be able to help one or two other people down here in the comments. I hope to see you guys out on the water testing out these new tricks and I really hope that it works out for you. And if you guys have any tips, tricks or techniques, send me a private message I'll check it out and then if it works we can share it out on my channel and hopefully get everyone else to learn one or two things. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your time and I'll catch you on the water somewhere around the world.